Hmm? Looks like we're committing one of the cardinal sins of uh, videoing and having a strong side light. Meh. Hi guys! Happy Pi Day! Yep, that's right, it is 3.14 Pi Day! I had shepherd's pie. No, no, that's a lie. I had chicken pot pie for lunch, but I don't have a sweet pie for dinner. You only get so much pie on pie day. Um, I hope you guys have had a good week. Um, I've been watching the weather forecast. I'm so sorry for you guys over there on the East Coast that are just being pounded by this winter blizzard, nor'easter, whatever they are calling it. Although it does crack me up how the uh, weathermen just get all excited for terrible, terrible weather. I'll probably watch some tonight and just giggle at them being out there, you know. As you can see, the snow is really coming down, which is, you know, pretty funny. Not nearly as funny as when they're standing out there in a hurricane, because that's... That's really hilarious. The wind's blowing. It's raining. Yes, yes, ding that. We can see. Get yourself indoors and out of the uh, trouble. But anyway, sorry, that was just <laughs> rabbit trails. Off that way. Off we go. Uh, well, let's see. It has been not a stitchy week at all. Um, we have had some pretty big events going on over at work in the building. And so, I don't know, last week it just took a lot of time to do the smallest things. It was just, it was crazy. But anyway, let's show you the little thingy, oh my goodness, brain completely dead. Progress report. Okay, so Santa's Village. It is, it's coming along nicely. We'll pick it up here, show you what I'm working on. Um, so I have been working on the stocking house down here. Um, last week, what did I do? I think maybe I put the windows in, that was it. And then I've got the two poles and the stockings done. And then I wanted to see if my idea for um, what I wanted to do with the border was going to work. So I just moved it up and stitched down here and I'm liking it. So I'll probably just stitch border. That's a lot of border I got to stitch. Woo! All the way down there to um, the stocking house. And Princess, are you standing? Oh no, good. She was on my chair a minute ago, but then she hopped off. I thought it was going to have to be a battle for chair supremacy there for a minute. So that is where I am on um, Santa's Village. By, uh, oh my goodness, you guys, seriously, my brain totally out of commission. Country Cottage Needleworks is the designer on this. Um, I'm stitching it with the called for threads. Um, the fabric that I'm using is a 32 count um, linen called Heaven, or ha Haven, H-A-V-E-N, Haven, um, by Colorscapes, which I think is a division of either Welshit or Zweigart. I'm not really sure which one. Um, so it's kind of a hand dyed. It's really pretty. Looks like Sky, which is why I'm using it. So, um, there you go. That is that. I bought it at Attic Needlework um, a long time ago, and I think I just bought a fat half, because that is a massive piece of fabric. I will definitely have some left over when I'm all done with it. So, I worked. That's kind of what's been going on at work. Not, not a lot. We have been busy! We are continuing to be busy. Um, both of the men's and women's basketball teams got invited to the NIT tournament. And so the men play tomorrow, so I'll be working the game tomorrow, and then the women play on Thursday. And then it's, it's so funny because we don't know when the next game was going to be unless we have to wait until they win and then their opponent wins. And so depending upon who the opponent is who wins, the opponent might travel to us or we might have to travel to the opponent. So it's just... It's, it's kind of crazy in the event world. We're just, you know, waiting on, on pins and needles. And then, oh, today, after we'd sold so many tickets, I mean, almost 7,000 tickets were sold um, yesterday to the men's game, um, ESPN comes back to us and they've changed the time of the game. So it went from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. thanks to ESPN. 
So uh, my poor staff coordinator, she was just about ready. No, okay, she wasn't really ready to cry, but she was just really going, oh my goodness, all these people who bought tickets for the seven, you know, thinking the game was at seven, are going to show up at 5.30 expecting the doors to be open when the doors, in fact, are not going to open until 7.30 now since the game's at nine. Clear as mud? Good. All right. Next thing that I worked on, I did my work, put some time into my Sunday stitch. And so here it is. It's We Seek After These Things um, by, oh, come on, I know her name, Yvette Ungrich, right there on the bottom. So I bought this at Shepherd's Bush is where it came from. I'm doing their um, color conversion. Um, the this one is, is she uses a lot more uh, colors that are bright and and bright, uh, but I'm using the Shepherd's Bush colors, which are a little more um, subdued. So what did I get done? I got all of the uh, the green and the little flowers here in this band, um, finished off the border to here, and then brought it up, and then I went back to the center and started on the beehive. And then I was working on this little bit of, of tree or flower or whatever it is. And so that's what I got done for my Sunday stitch. It is a nice, nice, it's a good pattern. It's really nice. I keep saying nice. Nothing wrong with being nice. Anyway, so there is that. So that. I mean, like I say, I have hardly stitched on anything at all. I'm mean, just practically nothing. Um, I'm busy at work, like I say, and I just come home and... I don't know, it doesn't make any sense because I work all day staring at the computer and then I come home, turn on the computer, and I stare at the computer all day some more. Right. Stashquisitions. Uh, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Just one thing, stitchy, came in the mail, and that is the uh, Fabrics by LJ uh, Fabric O the Month for March. And this March, as you can see, he has termed it spring green, and it really is a bright springy green. Let's get this out. And get rid of the dryer sheet. Okay. Let's see what my piece looks like, because they all look a little different. That's fun. I don't know what I would stitch on it. Since green isn't a color I typically buy, but I'm sure I've got something. Something. <laughs> anyway, it really is a lovely color. It kind of borders more into some of the olive greens and then back out into a grass green. Um, yeah. It's a nice one. <coughs> Goodness, excuse me. So we will add that into the bin of Fabrics by LJ. I get a, a 32 count linen. I'm gonna pause and cough and be right back. Alrighty, so I got another couple of things that aren't really stitchy stash related, but things that I'm really just pleased as punch about, as it were. Um, I was at Walmart the other day and I wandered down the um, aisle for their candles and the, the scents and I came across what they are calling Aloha Colada. It's just pina colada guys. It's coconut and pineapple smelling and it is just, oh it's wonderful. That's good stuff. I came home and I put it in my little um, wax melter last night and just Oh, it felt like it was spring and it was wonderful. And so I think I'm going to have to go back and buy a couple more of those and maybe a, a candle so I can have candle candle going on in my bedroom. Just, well, I, okay, this is rabbit trail sort of, but I like to turn, turn a candle on in my bedroom about an hour before I go to sleep because I feel like it warms up my bedroom. Uh, my room's at the end of the, uh, uh, AC heating, you know, ductwork. So it's always just a little bit colder in my bedroom than it is in any other bit of the house. So I like to put the candle on because I feel like it warms, you know, the room up just a little bit and then I turn it off when I go to sleep. And it's in anyway. So that's candle in my bedroom. Just whatever. Not that you guys cared. So 
another great little find was on Etsy. I decided, I don't know what I decided, I just decided that I wanted a watercolor print of pansies. And so, of course, I did a Google search, or well, an Etsy search for watercolor pansies, came up with a whole lot of things, and found this. This artist had done these little guys, and the price was really outstandingly, you know, reasonable. So it came in the mail. It's still in its little plastic folder. You can kind of see, we're not getting too much glare today just because I don't have all the lamps on. But it's darling and adorable. And I've just been using um, like that blue tack, you know, the sticky stuff you put on the back of posters to hang on. Anyway, just had that up because I'm not sure when I'm ever going to be able to get it um, frame framed because it's not, it's an unusual size. So I don't know when it's going to get frame framed. And then I was cleaning out the closet of doom, going through one of my random boxes of stuff, and I discovered one of these fantastic little mice, which is hilarious because I bought this mouse in November of 2015, guys, and it has the side buttons for the clicky clicky. You know, if you play play the uh, MMORPGs thingies, you know what that's all about. It's also great for first person shooters because you can bind some of your keyboard things to the thumb buttons and just, you know, really go to town. So I found this. I'm gonna go plug it in and see if, if I do any better healing peoples on the wow or not. So that's, that's that. Okay, going down my checklist, checking the things off. We shared all the random purchases that made me happy this month, week, whatever. How long has it been? Please not a month. Maybe a week, something like that. Anyway, uh, let's do our shout outs. Um, like I said, last week was a busy, busy week at work. I was hardly at my desk at all, so I didn't watch a lot of, of YouTube on my second, YouTube, uh, FlossTube on my second screen as I was doing worksheets and stuff. So I only have two, two gals that you guys should, uh, go check out. Um, and because of that, I am like a week and a half behind on FlossTube. I... Uh, I haven't seen a lot of what y'all are up to, and probably by the time I get to it, it's going to be old and outdated, you know, and I'm just like, ah, I just, I don't know, there's, I, so many of you have put out videos, and I'm like, I want to get to you, I want to get to you, but I'm insisting on going through and just watching all of my subs as they come out, you know, in order. So, that aside, so the two people that I found that you guys need to go check out, uh, one is Crochet Gal. Um, her channel is primarily crochet, but she does label the floss tube um, videos uh, prominently. And she has started to learn how to cross stitch. Um, let's see, I think I've seen two videos from her now. Um, she uh, has started with kits, and like most of us, when we're very beginning, there's counting errors and positioning errors, and she just shares it with us as she's going along and learning how, how to do this craft, and she's just, she's super cute, so you guys really should take her, go check her out. And then the second gal that I wandered across uh, was Cheryl, the Wayside Stitcher. Uh, she started stitching in the mid-80s, like a bunch of us did. Um, and then she she says she says that she is a multi crafter who has just returned to the hobby, and then she goes ahead and shares some of her uh, newer whips with us, and so she was a delight as well. So go go check them out. You know it's really short on the um, things, shout outs, right, guys. Combined with last week's craziness, plus this week we switched to daylight savings time, I'm still not functioning, and it's what, Tuesday? Yeah, Pi Day, March 14th. Math nerds. Anyway, so that, that's that. Um, all right, let's look at what we've been doing with the, uh, Battle Cow. Uh, so, I'm up to two legendaries now, and both of them are good ones, and so both of them are equipped, which has brought my eye level up to 864, which means I can kill most of the stuffs and should be able to get into um, any dungeon or raid that I prefer. However, I have performance anxiety, and so I just do the things with my guild, because my guild knows me, and they're a pretty forgiving bunch. 
Um, my raid weapon is up to 35 traits. The regular everyday weapon for the spec that I normally play, that I like to play, is up to 33 traits. The only reason why the raid weapon is higher is because I was doing the heals for the, the guild group as, as we went along. So I put more information into that so I could be better with that for them. Um, I've been fishing, guys. I have finally pretty much completed all the everyday quests and so after I do my world quests for the emiss emissary caches for the day I get my thingy out I go fishing I am two rare fish away from getting the uh, fishing artifact which I think is not too bad not too bad at all since you know it's only been three two or three days since I decided it was time to start fishing um and the last crazy wow thing it's not even crazy it's just we did time walking dungeons um, with the guild and it was really a lot of fun. It was, it was a lot of fun, especially since the, uh, the technology that scales you down to the same level. So like I'm 110 and we did dungeons with time walking last week for 80 to, not 80, from 90 to 95 or was it 95 to 100? I think it was 90 to 95 was, was, it was Pandaria. Anyway, but we were still, you know, just kind of steamrolling it and just smashing it. So it was a lot of fun. Loved it. You guys, I'm so not a hardcore raider. I love easy mode. I know, it makes no sense. If I could zap that thing in one spell, just push the one button and it's dead. Love it. Love it so much. So, um, yeah, that's everything that's going on in WoW. Um... I did mention last week we had a, a major uh, dance competition in, in the building. It started on Wednesday and went through Saturday. And so um, various days I'd wander up if and uh, check out what was going on. And I found that the cutest, the cutest bunch to watch was the elementary school syllabus kids. So syllabus means um, they're just dancing... Um, either a Latin set or a smooth set. So Latin is going to be like your your cha cha and your samba and and uh, pasio doble. Although they didn't do that for the elementary school set, where the smooth is like your waltz and your tango. Oh goodness, no, yeah, I get them mixed up. If I don't have the sheet in front of me telling me what's going on, I get get them mixed up a little bit. Anyway, smooth includes swing, um, Vietn Viet Oh my goodness. The, the the other waltz because there's waltz and venetian waltz vietnamese waltz it starts with a v and i always get it wrong but i don't know the difference between the two waltzes but anyway n whatever the kids doing the elementary syllabus elementary kids so adorable absolutely adorable they're just oh, too cute. Too stinking cute. They were just so fun to watch. And then, what was even cuter than elementary syllabus is elementary formation dance. That's where they have, you know, eight couples, and they're, you know, doing the same dance, but sometimes they have to scuttle here to make this shape and go here, and they do a wave of the thing, and the wave comes back, or, you know, and the guys do, the, and the what's it's Anyway. So cute. So, so cute. Um, I keep trying to get my four-year-old niece into it, but her mother is way into softball, and her father is way into, um, kickboxing, so my four-year-old niece goes to softball and kickboxing. Yeah, there's a gym here that will teach toddlers how to do kickboxing. She has adorable, cute little pink gloves and a pink little hat thingy, um... They do require them to wear black, and so she's terribly upset that she cannot wear her pink kickboxing shorts. She has to wear her black ones, but she does have pink kickboxing shorts. But anyway, you guys, I have just had a ramble fest. I'm hungry. Go, go cook me some dinner. I'm going to go start sliding things in for this. I have talked pretty darn fast, so we're only going to be 20, 21, maybe 22 minutes once I slide in all of the, uh, the tags. So that is that is that. Um, thank you to everybody who subscribes. Thank you to everybody who comments and likes my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm trying to get caught up with you all. 
Um, hopefully it'll quiet down here. Well, probably not this week because we've got NIT happening. Maybe next week, but not if the gang wins. We'll be doing more of the same next week. And then, oh man, we got graduations coming up. And we got Hope of America coming up. We got all sorts of good stuff coming up at the building. It's going to be fun. Anyway, I hope you guys get plenty of time to stitch on your projects. I hope the frog stays far, far away from everyone. Hugs and stitches, guys. Bye.